thing. Our, well, I'm involved in my first uh, meetup with some other Overlanders. You can see that Jeep back there with Lesser, actually a Bronco. And I have my setup here with my tent as I normally do. I'm going to flip it around to kind of show you guys the other things. We're down here at Burr Oak Campsite. It's sunny out. Great day in the low, high 40s. And I got some great setups, you guys. I mean, there's some, you see that rooftop tent over there on a, on a Mojave uh, Jeep Gladiator. That's sweet. And then over here, we got the Tacoma with a full setup. Like what's behind the, you'd say the curtain area or the tarp, you really see some really great equipment. So I thought I had a lot of stuff and these guys are really set up well. Andrew, who's in the uh, Bronco, we'll see. He just got a tent, he's just like me. So just the average Joe out here camping, having fun with, with the group of people that we met on, uh, on Rubicon Matt. So glad I'm glad everybody's here. We'll be introducing you to everybody here in a little bit and kind of take a, take a look around at what they got. So stay tuned. So cool. Like the wind blowing through your head. Oh, I'm with you now. I was waiting for this. Hey, for the first uh, meetup, which is really kind of feel really blessed, you know, to have people that want to get together and overland and camp and talk about things. And, and uh, so here in a little bit, um, We'll walk around and do a kind of like an introduction to everybody that joined us on this trip and then we'll uh, kind of see also talk about their setup because they all have really cool setups um, makes mine makes me feel like like I'm a little falling behind a little bit but you know what I love my tent and things I have so I'll, everybody has their own way to do it and each way it's okay so we'll be walking around and showing everybody their 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 uh, stuff here in a little bit. But take a look at this view. What a nice day here at Burr Oak. I was hoping it was a little cooler. It's in the probably 40s, mid 40s. But um, I'm gonna walk back and we'll start walking around before it gets dark talking to everybody. This is fun. Hey everybody, this is Mike, Mike and his, can yep. I show, his, yep. and there's and Teresa, Teresa. Yep. <laughs> hello everybody, yeah we're here uh, doing this uh, meetup for the very, this very first meetup I've ever been to, and so now what we're going to do is kind of walk around because they have some great rigs, and you know, everybody has a little bit of different setup, so we're going to hit start with Mike and Teresa's and have them do a little walkthrough with us. Mike, why don't you uh, start with the rig and kind of go through things real quickly and we'll move on into the rest of your outfit. Okay, we have a 2022 Tacoma off-road um we we needed storage so we added a couple of room boxes these are the 95l room boxes with the quick disconnects and then we needed a water source yeah so we ended cool. up going with the uh the eight gallon water port just to have a little extra water so that's um, eight gallons does it warm it up it, it does warm it up you can use it as a shower or use it for potable how do water. you pressurize it so when it has a mechanism that when you're filling it from a garden hose it applies pressure inside or you can take off the cap and and put pressure from a foot pump or from your rig pump, however your air supply, whichever. Or you can order a new lid that they have. Okay. I just haven't ordered one of those yet. It'd be nice to have. Um, and so we we put all of our extra stuff inside our uh, inside our Tacoma when we uh, when we head out. Okay. So we have a 2021 hiker. It's a five by eight. Uh, it's a square drop, kind of like, kind of like a teardrop. Um, it is, uh, in a sense, uh, a queen-size bed on wheels is really what it is. In the rear, there's a galley, and there's a toolbox in the front. And um, uh, Matt can take a little picture in there. So so you can just see it's got that. got a door uh, on each side, so you don't have to disturb each exactly, other getting there's out. There's an extra door. That's an option, and it's a great option. And we have, obviously, the curtains. And um, um, we can apply heat in here if we want it uh, from the front. And um, the hiker, and then we added the... the the uh, awning that uh, is above Matt that you can see up here. Is that this a is the 360, OVS. 270? It's or? the 270 uh, OVS awning. Very nice. And then we actually have the extra walls. And we just buy things a little bit here or there. It's taken us uh, two years to get all this. Um, 
but we just love um we have an ice co refrigerator freezer uh that we didn't bring with us because we didn't think we needed it so yeah, i didn't just, bring mine either we just brought a, a, a just typical old-fashioned cooler that does a great job and uh we have the little fire pit down there and believe it or not uh so when and uh it actually stayed rather warm inside here um and then uh as you pan around oh, yeah. obviously a little table for the for the stove does that pull out from it or it it it, it, it does it actually um it's got a little mount this one right here is one of the mounts okay and when they when they did it for the factory they must be seven foot tall because oh, i you... couldn't even so i got another <laughs> piece and made it a little lower okay um, and where does where does this store then when you take it when down? it stores we just put it in the back end of okay, the truck yeah. or inside the hiker yeah you got a lot of room in there yeah yeah and then let me put this on and then so this is just a little a food prep area or storage area however Love you, the shelving and the yeah just a little shelving and and well organized my wife is very very well organized i'm not she did is did you make those drawers did you say i did yeah these right here i made these in my wood shop at the house and um uh, uh it's uh, oh, just cool. a passion that i have of woodworking and then um um it um it, it pulls very very well what's nice about it is you can um back it into your garage or keep keep that's it that's true yeah and then you when you're running when you're ready to go you just latch on to it and take off you have solar okay. panels i do we have uh we have a 100 watt renergy that so what is that right there? this right here is the anchor 555 okay. uh, we won this in a uh a camping event uh this past summer yeah. and uh um it's is a, that a light right there it is it is that's a light, good it's not like it's a got, directional light it's yeah, more of and, ambient and, and you can also turn it for like a flashing mode for uh like a sos type okay. uh, function but we have a 300 watt goal zero and we have a 100 watt energy and then we have a 50 watt energy that will uh power we have a small phoenix 300 energy uh, that we started with uh it's great for charging cell phones i see you have a, a, a gas power generator too oh yes um that is i'm a i'm a uh, i have a background in uh disaster management disaster planning and uh i we recently bought that and i brought it along just in case if i needed to recharge the batteries which actually this this it's more sun today than what they expected it yeah, to be. so yeah. that's the only reason why i brought it okay i think it was going to be cloudy yeah well, thanks a lot. What a great setup. And yes, you, have a, you have a lot of stuff. A we do of, have a lot of stuff. Uh, um, just going to allow me to ask my wife for some more things. So. Uh, it just, but it, you know what? It didn't happen overnight. It yeah. just took a long time to get everything together. The air piece, compressor. That's the air compressor from What's Opera. that brand again? Uh, this one here is Vyair. Vyair. Yep. Um, saw that on one of those channels online. Well, how do you air down? Um, with this little package right here. Boulder tools. Okay. Yeah. Not, oh yeah. I have those. You screw those on. They screw kind of set on. to where you want. I just haven't set them yet. You yeah. know, I have a tricky kind of set to be honest with you. You know, is that right? So but it's, once you get them, I think, you know, I get it down between 28 and 24. I don't go real low. Okay. I just try to do it to, so it doesn't have a bumpy road periodically. Yeah. So I think I'm, this is what, probably two weeks old, three weeks old, something like that. So, um, yeah, we're hoping to, uh, go out West this year. Yeah. We want to go out Maybe West. We'll all plan a trip. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. Just great. Yeah. That'd well, thank great. you very much. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. It. Well, wasn't that a great setup And there? Also, you can see to the right, a bathroom setup they have, um, the shower and stuff they, in, in the restroom where they can take care of that and change clothes and things like that underneath that other rounding that sticks out on the other side of their little unit. So man, they're ready to roll, but I uh, really appreciate that. We had a great time together and we used that tarp area as like a big family room when it started raining the following morning. So now we'll move on to uh, Thomas and his gladiator and his wife and kids and see what they have and what equipment they have. Cause I think you'll be impressed as well. I'm here with Thomas. Tom, I'm sorry. So I'll, I'll take that out. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with Tom and uh, and his wife Candice and their kids uh, Colt and Charlotte. Yes. Right. Great kids, great family, and uh, they're here at the meetup as well. And our first meetup, which sounds pretty exciting, anyway. So I'm gonna have uh, Tom kind of share about his rig because look at that. He's got a lot going on, and we want to learn about it. So here we go. I see you have a Mojave. That's pretty sweet. When did you get it, and what year is it, and what does that mean? Um, I got it in June of 2021, and it's a 21. Um, a Mojave is just another. Um, try, what am I trying to 
right? It's like a Rubicons and, and you got Mojaves and then you got Overlands and stuff like that. Um, it's got a little bit of different suspension on it. It's a softer suspension meant for running through the desert. And well, that's good. So when you're on these roads back in here, I don't know if you've done it, we have that, what's that called when it's bumpy, like uh, what, on, you know, the dirt roads where it's just constant vibration? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot what that's called, but anyways, does that help with that? Because I that's a problem. For, I hate that. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a smoother ride. Yeah, honestly, it is. I bet it is. I'm by it, you know, because um, I had a, a TJ Wrangler before this, and, you yeah. know, it rode hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, those things. Yeah, because you're, you're sitting on the back tire almost, too. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, so I have a inch and a half rock crawler lift, and I just, they threw in the window sticker. I thought, eh, cool, I'll throw yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I got a barricade steel bumper and a barricade winch. It was a combo I got called okay. Extreme Terrain. And um, that's pretty much the modifications I have. What kind of those fog, are those fog lights or? Yeah, oh, uh, well, these here? Yeah. Yeah, these are ox beam. Um, they're spotlights, actually. Okay. And, and they're, they're really bright. So they're pinpointed. Yeah. Like, yeah, they don't. Yeah. They're not okay. too much of a flood. Too. Right. Well, I see you have a really cool rooftop tent, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that's a uh, Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic Four Season Four Person Tent. Um, it's about the same size as a king bed. And with having four, you know, people in my family, I want one of those all to fit in there. And then the little green tent's just a quick little port of lit in case one of the kids needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. I see you have the Max Tracks. Yes, yes. I got this off of Amazon. I think that's uh, x Bull brand. Okay, so it's not actually the Max Tracks brand. No, it's x Bull. Okay. Yeah. And, um, they they look like them. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so the Mojave comes with the Fox shocks and everything yes. set up, which is really sweet. And you got the Wild Peak tires, which is awesome because that's what I just put on. Yes, they're they, great tires. Yeah, I'm really enjoying those too. What kind of uh, racking system do you have? Okay, so I have the uh, Max Modular Voodoo 18 inch rack. And um, I have it with the um, tonneau cover accepting brackets so that I can still use my tonneau cover. Uh, unfortunately, you can't fully open the tonneau cover with it on. The back okay. part, you can get it a little bit up. Um, but I just wanted to mainly keep our gear dry when we were yeah. know, transporting. I understand. That's cool. And then look at this, people. They've got a heater back here. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a uh, – uh, got it off of Amazon. It's a – Favor. How much did that cost? I actually got it for, on sale for eighty nine dollars. It was I, new, brand new. Wow! It came with a broken handle, and I guess that my been why it was so cheap. Um, and I just used the old belt <laughs> to yeah. make a, my own handle with it. Well, that's cool. Is, I, will this be the first time you're trying it outside, or? Um, yes, in, in the, the tent actually. Okay. So I've rented at home a couple times, and I have a little portable power station. It's a uh, Blue Eddy EB three A. And it runs at roughly 10 hours. And okay. I see your bathroom set up. What kind of... I saw the, saw the bags. You use the same bags I use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just the, the yeah. Walmart, Walmart Ozone yeah. brand. You can't beat it. I mean, you it can't works. beat it. Yeah, they're better than the, the, the real branded ones. They're just exactly like it. I think they just changed the name. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's awesome. And then up here, they got places for your shoes. Yeah, that's nice. You got lighting. Yeah. Going on lights all around. And you got the kitchen. Anything you want to say about this? Well, let's say uh, Ozark Trail, propane, uh, little griddle. Um, and you got I the have, Yeti. That's not propane. I put the Yeti stick okay. there. For my, okay. For my, uh, you got a propane Yeti. tank? Yes, it's a five pound propane tank. And uh, for backup, I got a big buddy heater. It's up in the bed right now. It's, okay. It's well, you got the big buddy. Yeah. Yeah. If something goes wrong with, with the diesel heater, we can. Oh, yeah, I got the little buddy in mine. And yeah, they work great. Yeah. They do. Yeah. I'm really pleased with it, honestly. So you have a pretty cool awning. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a uh, Overland Vehicle Systems 180-degree awning, so it just does the driver's side here. And um, I got a little string of uh, patio lights. That's great. It makes it makes you allow to do all kinds of customizations and things. Okay. That's awesome. Well, thanks very much. Yeah, thank well, you. Baller, what's your name? Lynn Schlanger. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing that we ran into each other down here. Yeah, and I just got done watching you just last week on your, or two weeks ago on your adventure down here. And, yeah. And we were talking about hopefully someday meeting up with you. Yeah, well, that's awesome that you did. You can come down and hang out with us tonight if you want. Walk on down whenever you want. All right. Really Great. good meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you.
Isn't that great? That gentleman I just met, he was a subscriber and watches me on, on uh, YouTube and he was actually camping at the same campsite we were, so he came down and uh, introduced himself to us. So that's fantastic. But now let's go uh, check out Andrew's Bronco and his setup because it looks pretty cool. So let's take a look and hear what Andrew has to say. So this doesn't look like a, an average Bronco. Uh, tell us about it. So this one is a 2022 Badlands Edition Bronco. What, what makes it the Badlands? What are some of the features? Um, no, I'm not, they just got a couple of different models. I'm not sure what highlights it looks the like Badlands. It's got, it's got some of the different crawl modes. Um, mine's a stick shift you, as well, so it's a it's a manual transmission. Oh, really? That is awesome. You don't see those very often right. anymore. Call it the, did it? And you put the winch on, or that we did. My son and okay. I did the winch. Well, you got the Badland winch. Is that? You know, I is that just the brand? It is just the brand, but I specifically got it because it says Badlands, and I've got a Badlands yeah. Bronco. So yeah, I, that is awesome. I, it's I got the BF Goodrich tires, all terrains. Yep, and added the GMRS radio. That's about all the modifications I've done. Oh, you have a, a strip up there or something to hold? I do. That's for an iPad. Um, okay. Mine did not come with a front camera, but I've got an aftermarket front camera that hooks to the iPad so okay. that I can see the, the front of it. So would you guys, do you guys pick out your trails out of Moab or where you're going to go? Or um, are you going to be camping? No, it's... We'll stay at a lodge out there. And okay. The the course is just a one day, all day long adventure, um, and it's just in all of those, yeah, all of the, you, the, the roads you see. Yeah, you the, see in all the videos. All the videos. Yeah, yeah, that is so cool. And I like how this back picks up in the back. You have the soft top version. I do. Yeah, they still have all of the trouble trying to get a hard top, so. I got the soft top version and it okay. does, it, it lifts up to help access it a little bit. Yeah, it's got that special yeah. place there. Just opens up. Nice. But we're enjoying it for sure. It's fun to, fun to you drive. You have the rock sliders on it and everything. It I does. Mean, That's yeah. one of the things with the, the Badlands. I remember, remember that. And you and I are the two guys sleeping in a ground tent. Yes. So that's okay. Yep. We can start anywhere. I mean, you know, that's it works. That's what you can do when you're overlanding. It doesn't yeah. really matter when you're starting. Just do go yeah. with what you got. Yeah, and this is be one of my first camping trips, so we're just just getting started with it. Wanted to get a new hobby, so you really want really want big going out to Moab your first. Yes. You know, yeah, that's awesome. Here, that's gonna definitely be a fun trip. It'll be the first trip my wife and I have taken without the kids. Yeah, so that's awesome. It'll be a, it'll be a good experience. Well, great. Well, thanks for sharing. Hey, those were some great setups and uh, really looking forward to getting to know these folks even more and uh, learning more about their equipment and stuff and where they plan on going and, and enjoying camping together in the future. So now it's just time to get back to camping and we're gonna you know, plan on cooking and starting a fire and enjoying ourselves around the campfires. It gets cold and then later on you'll see how wet it gets. It's a great test of how tough we are out here as overlanders for our first meetup. So stay tuned. This is going to be beef stew. Normally, this is uh, on the uh, on the fire, but I didn't yeah. bring uh, I didn't bring the tripod. I forgot the tripod, so I'm going to do it off of the uh, burner. Yeah. And then uh, I'm just making two small batches rather than one big. Looks so something good going on. Are those redskin potatoes. It is. Yeah, you got your steaks done. Already nice. got the steaks done and resting. Resting, I like that. That's professional. <laughs> so how'd you cook them? Mid-rare with a push? That's, that's my target. <laughs> okay. 
Awesome. That's cool. Mike and Teresa asked me over for dinner, so I don't have to cook tonight. That's awful nice of them. I was going to cook pork chops and stuff, but they got, they're got they making big pots of beef stew, so I'm going to give that a shot. That'll be fun. And look at that sunset. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's nice. There's the moon. It's a little darker than you think. Sure is nice. They got their lights on over there. That's cool. Andrew's cooking his instant mashed potatoes. That's where the beef stew's being made. How nice is that? After a great dinner, and that was good beef stew, we appreciate it. We spent some good time around the, the campfire and talked and shared and uh, had some other subscribers stop by and uh, visit as well. So really had a good time. And then you can take a look in the beautiful stars and in in the moon. And then guess what happens? Well, this is what happens sometimes. It rains. And it rains hard. So we'll see what the day will bring. Just feel sorry for the people that came. I just feel bad for them. But hope everybody's staying dry. And uh, Tom's family's up in the rooftop tent still, hopefully, staying dry and everybody's okay. My tent's doing okay. It's hard to get up, you know, pouring down rain, and you know what you got to do. You got to go out and face the rain and tear things down, but hopefully by noon everything will be okay and we won't have to do that. The rain will have stopped and we can tear everything down then. Well, it's pretty cold and rainy right now. I'm sitting underneath my little smitty build awning, got my coffee water going. And uh, let's see what the rest of the folks are doing right now because it's not very pretty out here. It's a cold rain. But my tent did well last night. Mike and his wife are doing okay. They got, you know, they're fully surround surrounded and stuff. And uh, Charlotte and their family want to go home. And there goes Andrew, so he's doing okay too. So that's pretty cool. Thanks to Mike and Teresa's setup, we had a place to sit, enjoy our coffee, and stay warm underneath this great tarp system. Well, things are winding down. It's cold. Everybody's trying to get things put away now. It's misty and just cold and rainy. Well, we made it, everybody. Everybody's ready. Heading out. Sloppy mess. But it didn't... Even though it was so sloppy and wet, it didn't change the fun that we had. So hopefully everybody can come the next time and we can get together again and, and enjoy the better weather too. But uh, God bless and thanks for watching. Well, I was blessed to meet a lot of great people at, the, at this first Rubicon Matt Overland meetup. And hopefully sometime we can all do this again in the near future. It was pouring down rain when we left, but we gathered and we all prayed to thank Jesus for all that he did for us. And uh, we just thank you for coming along. Please like and subscribe. God bless.